So hello, today I'm going to show you how to do an oil change on a 2018 uh, Porsche 911 991.2 3.0 liter twin turbo engine. So I hope you find this useful. I hope this video is not too bad. And if you have any questions about the process that I followed, uh, feel free to ask any questions and I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. So the first step, we're going to go to the driver's side of the car and release the engine cover through here, open it up and open the oil cap so the air can get in and it'll be easier for the oil to flow out. So this is the underside of the car and this is the drain plug right there. Before we continue, let me show you what the oil drain plug looks like. This one normally requires a special tool to release this cap. But in a pinch, you can use any regular screwdriver. You don't insert a screwdriver in this direction. You actually insert it in this direction. So it can actually go all the way down without damaging the oil cap. So I'm going to be releasing the oil plug. I got my drain pan here. Getting this out of here. We'll come back to see how it's doing in a few minutes. We're going to be removing this cover and we're going to start by removing this plastic piece. Can we move it like this? Just before we remove this cover, we're going to open up the spoiler, we're going to extend the spoiler to have a little better access. Just need to press this button. So now you have a much better access. We're going to start by popping up this side of the cover. And now you're going to work this piece out of here. disconnect the fans. You're going to need this to do this with both hands. It's going to be a lot easier if you press down here and then remove the connector. That way these fans will not turn on while you don't expect it. Now that we've unplugged the fans, what we need to do is remove this connector from the air intake assembly. I'm going to use this trim removal tool Let's come to the other side now we're going to remove the fans so you can lift them from here one side the other corner there is this thing that pops in the air so now you pull it out, you can take it off. You need to put it on the left. So I remember which one is which. So one, two, remove it from the back. And now we can put it away. Now before removing the air intake, we're going to remove this little grommet here. And the next one that comes right off to remove the air connector right after we take off this cable you should be able to put it down there like that now to remove the air intake just pull it up from here and this other side it up and you can pull it out just like that in one piece with no problems well, now you can actually see the engine very easily and here you have the oil filter which we're going to be removing next we're going to cover all around the oil filter with some paper towels 
to avoid this thing dripping all over the place. Looks like we are ready to remove the oil filter. At this point, I had to lower the spoiler so I would not hit it with the torque wrench. Here it is, my 36 millimeter hex socket with an extension. And let's see how it works. After loosening the oil filter with the torque wrench, I'm going to keep twisting it by hand and Down here. Got a little rag. I'm going to take it, pull it out. And that's all there is. The bottom part is the one that has the markings. So I'm going to compare this one to the one that I got from the Porsche dealership, the same part number. Take it. So bring it in here. And insert it back. You're going to feel a little bit of resistance until you feel it sitting down on the base of the oil filter. Now we're going to remove the gasket. So we need to make sure that we don't use any tools so you don't pinch or damage the threads. So I'm just going to pull this up by hand and get it out. Just poured a couple of drops of oil, just lubricating all around the gasket and putting it back on. And now the gasket is installed. I'm just going to wipe it down and let's put it back on. So I've already hand tied, I have this hand tight and ready to use my torque range. Just remember it's 25 Newton meters, which is the equivalent of 18.44 pound feet of torque. So just make sure that you have the right measurement and you're looking at the right units on your torque range or it could be a disaster if you use the wrong units. Now remember, after you've set your units, remember to lock the handle. So when you're moving this thing up and down, you don't mess up your units. click that means that we are at the right at the right torque so we are ready to take all of this paper out of here everything looks good make absolutely sure when you first hand thread the oil filter cap that obviously you don't see the rubber gasket because if you stop too early and don't thread this correctly you will not be able to get the cap all the way down as it should so remember if you don't have the right tool you can use a screwdriver just remember you don't insert a screwdriver in this direction you actually insert it in this direction so it can actually go all the way down without damaging the oil cap. Put a little oil around the gasket. Put it back in here and twist it back in place. And time to start putting everything else back together. Before we continue, I'm just going to show you on the air intake where these parts 
connect to just to make it easier for you to realize what you're doing when you're putting it back in. So I'm going to use a light so you can see. This is where the air duct connects on this side. So you know that you're going to need to fit it in there on the other side. Oh, might be easier if I just turn around. We are rock around the car. Here you go. That's the other air duct. So we're going to start with the air intake down here, just where it was. Make sure that you go under this cable. You can feel that this end is well into the connector and then you can press down here. You can hear a click in place. This side also clicks in place. We're going to click in place this cable and we're going to reattach this connector up here. There we go. That one is in place. Now we need to find the other one. It's right here and it goes back in place. We're going to put now the left fan, connect the back to the vehicle. And now watch out for the cable, that is, make sure that it's underneath and pop it in here and then pop the other side. We're going to plug it in first and again quite a fit trying to do it with one hand while holding the phone but it's actually doable. And now you are ready to reattach the connector to the air intake. It should just press down in place and it's ready. I'm going to go and do the other side, which should be exactly the same. Insert this piece into the back of the car and part the other side, the fan. get the cover and for this one I might need to put the phone down I'm not sure yet I'm just trying to oh. there you go so I just wiggle this thing in place so I'm ready to press down and you can hear that is falling in place. And now at the top on the other side. One, two, three, and four. So this feels, there you go. It feels like it's secured in place. We need to put this plastic thing back in place. Now I have this thing all the way around and ready to pour some fresh oil. So finally we're ready to pour some oil in here. So it's going to be much better economically to buy two five quart uh, bottles instead of one five quart and three one quart. You basically get two three quarts for the same price. I highly recommend a good size funnel like this one. So you don't want any spills around here and neither do I. So first five quarts. So I'm done with the first five quarts. So I'm going to show you a little trick that will help you uh, a lot. Instead of trying to pour the other 
two or three quarts out of this bottle and having to be watching your measurements is a lot easier if you first pour this bottle into the empty bottle and fill it up only to the two and a half quart mark. That way you don't have to worry about overfilling. You put seven and a half quarts and then you'll be able to see where you are and add the rest. And I have only two and a half quarts here and two and a half quarts on this other one. So now we can take either one and continue the fill up process. And we are done with the last drop of the additional two and a half quarts. So we should have seven and a half quarts. Let's remove the funnel. Inside. And we are ready to close. We need to close this up. Close the back and let's start it up to see if we have any warning messages. So at this point, I had already lowered the car and it still shows that I need at least one more quart. So I'm going to be adding that right now. Well, after adding a little bit more oil, I'm already at over 9.1 or 9.2 quarts of oil and still not all the way to the top. So this is kind of surprising as pretty much everywhere I've read says that a full oil change with filter should take about eight quarts and I've put more than nine. Uh, and maybe the difference is that I had my car uh, lifted on the back because I just put a ramp on the back so it was not leveled and that could have helped considerably to uh, flush out the oil pan so I think that was a good idea to have it lifted from the back this concludes the video on how to do the oil change of an a 3.0 liter 911 991.2 and I hope you enjoy it and I hope I didn't make too many mistakes so have fun doing your oil your own oil change and saving quite a bit of money every time you do it